Hello. Hello. I'm here with my good friend Mark and we are going to make something awesome. Something I'll do as an introduction. <laughs> so here I am in my vegetable garden which you may have seen in previous episodes. At the bottom of the vegetable garden is where where I keep a lot of uh, bits and bobs, scrap, some might say. But today, we want to go further. We want to go all the way down. Not just to the bottom of the garden, but at the bottom of my piece of land. Here we are. <laughs> Right, what you're about to see is a relic of the Soviet Union. It's, um, it's a fascinating bit of Cold War history in itself. Um, unfortunately, I've left it neglected for some time. Let's have a look. Here she is. This is a Zill 131. It's, uh, although you can't tell at the moment, a six wheel drive uh, troop carrier, well, general purpose vehicle from the Soviet Union. And this particular one was made in 1975, which makes it as old as I am. For uh, the last 10 years or so, it's lived here in this hedge. Once a year, I'd fire it up, which is quite an event in itself, because this has a 6 litre V8 petrol engine with no starter motor. So you have to hand crank it, fire it into life, pump up the tyres on the central tyre inflation system, get it all up and running, and then I'd leave it for another year. It's just too expensive to do anything else with. Anyway, that, uh, that came to halt a few years ago when it got stuck in reverse, which it is at the moment, and it's backed into the tree behind it, and I just had to leave it there. Finally, the time has come to see if we can get the thing back to life. As soon as we get it running, I'm going to rip the engine out and put in a more sensible diesel engine, and then one day we'll be able to hit the road again. Yeah, <laughs> it seems to be covered in bird poo and cobwebs. When I first got this, I mean, these are all warning signs in Russian, and I bought a Russian to English dictionary, but it doesn't really cover the technical words. All I could work out was there was something very, very important that you mustn't do. I've still no idea what it what it might be. Um, presumably, I haven't done it yet. There was lots of paperwork inside saying that it had been serviced every year the first 10 years and then it was just basically parked up and abandoned. One of my favourite features I discovered about the Zill was that it, um, it has a seat warmer which is this little hot water bottle here. There's a brass tap next to the hot water bottle and you fill up the hot water bottle from the cooling system and then put it on your seat and sit on it. It has pneumatic wipers because this thing was designed to work in Siberia among other places so where electric motors would freeze up when you turn the wipers on, it's actually opening the little valve, and you This is rather groovy. This is how we pump up the tyres. So once the engine's running, I'll be able to engage this valve, and then this will go from nothing up to something. And here it's got different settings for different payloads on the back, so when you've got a five tonne on the back, you can pump it all the way up to four and a bit. When you go off-road, you let the tyres down, Give yourself a bit more grip. Right, let's get the brush colour. In previous years then, I would fire this thing up and just drive it out of the brambles, which is a lot more impressive. But uh, yeah, with it being stuck in reverse, that's not really an option. I can't go any further back, I've run out of land. I do feel bad about having neglected it for so long now, but you've got to remember, even a year ago, I was just contemplating chopping this up and weighing it in for scrap. I mean, I, I'd know, I couldn't think of a use for it, and it had just become a magnet for local neighbourhood kids to come and 
peel the bits off and just make it look even worse than it, than it did before. Suddenly though, with the, the event of Project Awesome, it has a purpose again. And uh, yeah, I think we can do something pretty good with it. I'm going to give her a crank then, Mark. So, washing machine components, I take it it goes clockwise? Yeah. Here we go. Rawr. You're going to have to turn it at quite a pace when, it, when we're doing it for real. And they got valve lifters. Oh, hang on, it's in gear. <laughs> so, like I said, last time I used this, it got stuck in reverse. And then, unless we can get it in neutral, we're not going to be able to. Crank the engine over and fire it up. Take the prop shaft off. Do you reckon that's in neutral now? Well, I think it is. I can, I can put it into its reverse position. Right, put it in neutral, what you think's neutral. And I can... Yeah, you ready? That's, well, that's what I think is main gearbox neutral. Yeah, okay. So we appear to be stuck in gear, which is a bugger. Can't get the transfer box or the main gearbox into neutral. So plan B will be to take off a prop shaft. And then we'll have to start it in gear, but it won't matter because the, the gearbox won't be connected to anything. successfully released it from being stuck in reverse by disconnecting the prop shaft. We've managed to get some ignition working. I'm hoping the ignition circuit's on. Uh, the indicator is flashing right now. Uh, that's about as far as it goes with the electrics. Obviously no starter motor. Right, what I'm going to try and do is slosh some petrol straight down the carburetor and then I'm going to turn this like a hero. Perfectly safe. 
Started it. That's a whole can of fuel gone. We haven't quite pumped up the tyres yet, <laughs> <laughs> but it's alive. Right, we're back again. Mark's birthday, so it's a treat. We're going to try and fire this thing up. And maybe even drive it more than upwards. <laughs> Are you ready? I think so. Can you see the car? Yeah. Right. Whole, whole lot. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, slish it in. Okay, it's in. It's all in. Here we go. <laughs>
Oh. Tyre's inflated though. It moved. It moved. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> See, Project Awesome is one step closer to reality. Yeah. Yeah. Is it definitely a new car? It is, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. All right, you put it out, Sally. Like the wobbles place is safe. Right. You, you ready, Sally? Yeah. Right, Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. yeah.